we can get over 60 hours of runtime from one charge. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK here. For the longest, I have been interested in a 12 volt refrigerator freezer combo like you see over here. And I'll get into that in another video. In fact, I'm going to do a review on this unit as well and explain to you why I wanted one and what my intentions are for a unit like this going forward. But today we're actually gonna be looking at this Bouge RV 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Because I was curious, how long would this battery power this unit? And I was pleasantly surprised that I could get over 60 hours of runtime on a single charge. That's with no solar uh, being fed into the unit while I was using it. And I have a bug right in front of my face. <laughs> so I wanted to take a look at this battery that they did send me for this review. And then we'll kind of go through some of the math on running this particular unit with this battery. All right, so right out of the gate, this is a group 24 size battery. So let's take a look at the dimensions on that. We can see that it's a little bit over eight inches tall, roughly about eight and a quarter tall. The length on this is going to be just around 10 and a quarter inches. And the width on this guy is going to come in at just over six and a half inches for this particular battery. Now, it weighs in around 24 pounds for this unit. So, not the lightest, not the heaviest that I've seen in these 100 amp hour batteries. It does have all of your standard BMS features. The max charge current that you can feed into this battery is 100 amps, though they recommend charging it at 0.2C, which comes in at around 20 amps for this particular unit. The max discharge current that this uh, battery will provide is 100 amps, though they do claim that it will provide 320 amps for up to 2.5 seconds. The nice thing that I really like about this and a feature that I just think these batteries require at this point in time is it does feature low charge protection, meaning that if the battery gets too cold, it will the BMS will shut it off to protect it so you're not charging it below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. And we can wire up to four of these in parallel. Now, let's answer the question, how long can you run one of these 12 volt coolers with a 100 amp hour battery? Now, the first thing we need to know is what's the power consumption from a device like this? When the compressor is actively running in this unit, it's pulling around 2.5 amps. When the compressor is not running, it's gonna draw somewhere around 200 milliamps. So I put this thing in the house and connected it up to this battery. And after 24 hours, it had consumed 36.02 amp hours. So let's do a little bit of math with those uh, numbers that we have to start with. Let me grab a calculator here, and I'm going to take that uh, 36 amp draw that it consumed and divide that by 24, and that's going to give me roughly 1.5 amps that this unit is going to consume from the 100 amp hour battery. So now if we take that, the one, uh, 1.5 per hour, let's take 100 and divide that. So we've got 100 amps possible in the battery, we'll divide that out by 1.5, and that gives us a little over 66 hours of runtime with this particular battery. And that's assuming that we're not doing anything to replenish the battery while we're using it. If we connected up a solar panel that would give us more than that 2.5 amps that this is going to consume, we could actually be charging this battery during the daytime with the excess that the solar panel would generate. So you guys can see where I'm going with this. With a little bit of sunshine and a solar panel, we could power a unit like this cooler for quite some time with a simple 100 amp hour battery. And lithium iron phosphate is getting so cheap now that it's almost unexcusable not to have one in your arsenal. Now, before I close this out, I did do a discharge test on this battery and it pulled the full 100 amps 
out of the battery during that discharge test. So I'm very pleased with the battery and I'm super stoked with how long I can run this unit with one 100 amp hour battery. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.